Well, tonight, critics argue the I-10 Mobile River Bridge is being built for cruise ships that are not coming. Local leaders are trying to find ways to trim the $2.1 billion project so you don't have to pay a $6 toll. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey is live now with the height argument. Andrea. Yeah, Greg and Kim, the vertical clearance for the proposed bridge is only five feet lower than the Golden Gate Bridge. You can imagine a towering structure like that over the Mobile River here, and critics argue it's just not necessary. Uh, we don't need a bridge as high as what's being proposed by ALDOT to accommodate uh, the, the ships from the, the State Port Authority. State Senator Chris Elliott says we could be paying billions for a bridge that's being built for cruise ships that may never come. Exactly. And, and I think, you know, if you look back at the history of this project, the 215 foot height was really driven by the cruise ship industry. I think it's fair to say that Mobile has a fairly tenuous grip on the cruise ship industry as it is right now, yet we are designing a bridge that would accommodate some of the largest cruise ships in the world, the Queen Mary II, uh, you know, steaming up Mobile Bay, which I think is probably um, something that we don't, it's just an unrealistic design parameter. We have to look at, you know, what's going on now, the next 20 years, as well as the next 100 years. Project spokesperson Allison Gregg argues changing the original plan from 190 foot clearance below the bridge to 215 feet keeps Mobile competitive with other ports and eliminates impediments to future growth. The cost difference, she says, is $23 million to raise it. And while we have a cruise ship business here that brings in over $30 million to the economy, if we can bring in larger cruise ships and we have the structures that can accommodate them, that economic benefit grows. Now, the report that was used to justify increasing the height of the bridge lists 52 cruise ships that could potentially come to Mobile, but only 14 of them are higher than 190 feet. This report also has letters from the harbor master at the port and the mayor of Mobile at the time, Sam Jones, who were in favor of raising the height. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.